In today's video, we're gonna go over some very interesting new Blender add-ons and updates, so you definitely don't wanna miss that. Add-ons for modeling, generated 3D models, cities, sculpting, you name it. Before we continue, I wanna let you guys know that the super high market is going through its biggest sale of the year. So if you wanna get some add-ons, texture packs, courses, you name it, it is the best time to do so. And if you don't know where to start, I have in the description of this video a list of some of the best add-ons and courses out there. Without further ado, let's jump right in. We're gonna start with Procedural Interiors. Procedural Interiors is actually a new Blender add-on that makes building interior scenes much more faster. So if you've ever modeled a room by hand or manually, you know that turning a floor plan into a 3D scene can be tedious. I mean placing every wall, extruding them, cutting out doors and windows is gonna take a lot of time, not to mention creating the assets. But with this add-on, you can literally import a floor plan image, trace over it, and it will auto-generate the walls, in addition to doors and windows. And everything stays fully procedural and editable. So you can tweak room dimensions and move openings on the fly. And it even has a furnished subspace feature, which can instantly fill a room with furniture. And it can do that using a built-in library of 150 plus assets like chairs, tables, and decor. It is not the biggest library out there, but it is a great starting point. Also, the value to price ratio alone I think is worth it. The next add-on is called Scene Scanner. Scene Scanner by CG Matter basically turns a regular photo, in addition to videos, into a 3D point cloud without needing any fancy layout of scanners. So basically you can walk around with a camera or even use existing footage. And this add-on generates a dense colored point cloud of the scene, which you can view or render right within Blender. It is actually surprisingly fast, unless you adjust quality levels, and you can even easily trim away any stray points that you don't want to use. And the coolest part is that it captures color as I said, so your point cloud has texture information. This is great for visualizing environments or creating a holographic look. There's even a free version available too, with lower quality, if you want to give it a try before committing to the full version. On the other hand, Poly Surface is a little add-on by Koshiro, which helps you smooth out and clean up your 3D models. You see, unlike the basic smooth operator, this tool lets you preserve sharp edges by marking them as creases. Then when you turn the polish function, it can smooth the surrounding surfaces while keeping those creased edges nice and crisp. It is great for hard surface modeling because you can selectively iron out bumps without losing the defined lines. There is also a straighten feature that tidies up your quads making your geometry grid more regular, which is super useful after doing booleans or heavy edits. You can even maintain the overall volume of your model while smoothing, so it won't cave in or shrink things weirdly. And it works on triangulated meshes too, by the way. C3D is an interesting hybrid of an add-on and a training tool for environment artists. It was made by the folks behind creating 3D environment courses, and it bundles years worth of materials, props, and assets from those courses in one convenient add-on. But what does that mean? Well, essentially you get a curated library of textures and models. The first pack, called the Factory, comes with over 280 industrial-themed props and materials, which can help you jumpstart your scene creation process. In addition to that, it includes handy tools, like the Rubble Generator, that lets you scatter realistic debris piles that auto-adjust to your scene's shape. And I would say it is like having a foundation of ready-made resources and systems so you can build detailed worlds without starting from scratch every time. Next, we're going to talk about ABO Connect, which is like having a key to a massive library of free 3D models right inside Blender. The add-on is paid, but it is a very little amount. Well, this add-on links Blender to the Amazon's Berkeley Objects dataset, hence the name ABO. The add-on has about 8,000 high-quality models of furniture, electronics, decor, and so on. And it lets you browse and import them as if they were local assets. The great thing is that you don't even have to download 140 gigabytes of models up front, because the add-on provides an in-blender browser with thumbnails and search function. So you can find what you need, and then you will download and import the model on demand. And it even has an import to cursor feature meaning the model you will bring in will drop right in the 3D cursor's position. And I think this is super handy for placing items in the scene exactly where you want them to be. So anyone doing arc or scene dressing, this is a huge time saver. 
and it gives you a gigantic free asset library without the usual hassle of manual searching websites or managing a huge local collection. The next add-on is interesting too. Glyph is basically a pie menu wheel for Blender sculpting and painting workflow. You see, it was made for two things, speed and customization. So when you are in the sculpt mode, or maybe in the texture mode, tapping the sidebar pops up a slick radial menu, which contains brushes and tools. So you can switch brushes or colors with a quick flick, instead of digging through the toolbar. The good thing is how customizable this wheel is. You can enter and edit the mode, I mean for the pie menu, and just drag and drop the icons to rearrange brushes, add new ones into empty slots, or remove the ones that you don't need. You can even create multiple rings of tools, like stacks of slices, and you can do that in one circle, and if one circle isn't enough, you can tailor the whole look and the theme of the wheel, adjusting the colors, opacity, and even adding a background image to match your vibe. On the other hand, we have a cool add-on this time, called FPV Control. FPV Control is an add-on that lets you fly a blender camera like a first-person drone, and it is cool as it sounds. Essentially, you connect the controller and pilot the camera through the scene, and you can do that in real time with proper FPV-style physics and collision detection. So as you fly, it's recording the camera's path into keyframes. So when you're done, you've got a ready-to-play camera animation of that drone flight. You can also edit or smooth out the animation for creating certain cinematic look or whatever purpose you have in mind. And it even has settings to tweak the control's responsiveness, like expo, sensitivity, etc and an option to apply post-flight smoothing. So your capture movements feels like a really good captured drone footage. On the other hand, Mega City Gen is a city generator that lets you create futuristic cityscapes. And it does this in a kind of new way. It uses displacement maps to form the details of cityscapes and buildings, meaning you can turn a simple cube or a plane into towering detailed buildings without modeling all the tiny windows and ledges. So with this add-on, you know, you can fill a huge area with city blocks in a few clicks. You can start by defining the large base shape, let's say a big polygon for the city layout, and it will generate a convincing city on it. Then, you can draw the curves or lines that become highways or roads, which can go through the skyline. And the add-on even has tools for adding traffic and crowds to the streets, which helps to bring life to the city, in addition to camera animation system to fly the city itself. Last but not least, we're going to talk about Trace Genius Ultimate. This is actually a tracing add-on that turns 2D images into 3D geometry, at the same time giving you a lot of control compared to Blender's default tools. And unlike the older Trace Genius Pro, which relied on Blender's Grease Pencil for tracing, this Ultimate version has its own custom tracing engine, so it is not limited by Blender's built-in algorithms. This means you can pick exact colors in the image, which you can trace, so it will trace the parts of the image that you want, and even handle transparency properly. For example, telling it how to treat semi-transparent pixels in a PNG, and it also lets you tweak image settings, like contrast before tracing, to get cleaner results, which is gonna help you capture final details, in addition to getting smoother outlines. So guys, if you are interested in these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.